Nolan Cooney puts toe to leather, and we are underway. This one will sail into the end zone, and Wake Forest will take over from their own 25. Not quite the case, but Syracuse defense looking to get off the field here. Looking to pass and flush out of the pocket is Hartman. Now he dumps it off, and Beal Smith does pick up the first down. And it, they're so good at it because they run it so often in practice and, you know, sets up third and six, which is a fantastic down and distance to pick up. They have plenty of time, and they do pick it up and get into Syracuse territory. Roberson. It's Roberson and Donovan Green, and these guys are, are playing well so far. Bill Smith, look at him just carry tacklers for another first down. Big chunk yardage for the Deeks. He's that type of guy who's going to run up the middle. You know, Kenneth Walker will bounce out a little bit more to the outside. Not as athletic as Newman, but still capable. Look at that mesh right there. Bill Smith now gets a lot of room to roam inside the 20 before being shoved out of bounds by Jahad Carter, but not after picking up another first down. Wake Forest has been so phenomenal in the red zone, not settling for field goals. Scoring touchdowns at a 92% rate. Hartman now pocket collapses, and he's going to get brought down. Initially, Terrell Richards was there, joined by his teammates. Big sack for Syracuse. In terms of recognition, but watch Terrell Richards, you know, just too long. I, I got to say, the back end coverage for, for Syracuse on this drive has been fantastic. Sam Hartman has had nowhere to go with the football. Both these kickers are outstanding, and Skiba knocks it straight through the uprights. Wake Forest takes the opening kickoff. We do this, but we shoot ourselves in the foot and get big penalties like this, setting up third and 20. Yeah, third and 20 from their own 15. Culpepper's going to try and pick it up right at the middle. That was almost as good as a punt, which is what we'll see right now is plenty of coverage. They are used to this kind of short drives, and then they have big plays. You know, just it's, it's three and out, it's four plays and out, and then it's a big play downfield to their wide receivers, and that's kind of the way this offense has worked all year. Yeah, I know, for real. If, if it was anything but goalie, watch <laughs> out. Hartman on third down. Nice catch going up the ladder by Roberson to convert. You know, Hartman... Is, He's just a, a poised passer. You see him in the pocket, he completes a good ball downfield for first down. The fake to Walker. Now Hartman's going to keep it. He has room, and he's got a blocker in front of him. Inside the 40, down near the 35 for a first down. Sometimes when someone runs the wrong route, and uh, if you have a big hole like that, you just go pick up the first down yourself. Really good job by Hartman. Yeah, they are, and they got to play good coverage like they have so far in this game. Third and long. Hartman, with just a three-man rush, has time and delivers to his receiver. I think he's going to be short of the first down. Maybe. Let's see where the officials mark this. No, he's not. And they do come with pressure. Wake Forest trying to beat him with the run up the middle, and they do. That open lane to pick up the first down. Extra blocker in the backfield. Walker. Up the middle, just the surge of that offensive line. Inside the five, toward the goal line. His bodies were just being carried down to the one. Looking first looking and goal for Wake Forest as they continue to dominate this first quarter. Walker crashes into the line and scores. A yeah, really good drive by Wake Forest. You see the offensive lineman just creating seams on the poles and really good execution. Ball thrown his way. Quickly outside. Initially had that first down and backtracking Queeley, but he was able to keep his feet convert. Receiver, defensive back. Dino went to him and said, we need a running back. And he said, whatever you need, coach, I can do it. And he's actually filled in quite nicely. There you see him again on the receiving end. So very dynamic. They say he's very good at pass protection. Nick Anderson forced him out shy of the first down, so it's second down and short. Lawrence looking to get it done through the year, and they do. That's Courtney Jackson. Culpepper back to pass on third and 19. Pressure comes, but he avoids it. Now going to the end zone in the double coverage. Incomplete as both the defender and Queeley had an op opportunity to pull down that football. Neil Smith, 36, Walker, 9. Walker takes the snap. And will look to find enough room to get that first down. It just does. Ben LaBrose, who actually just came in for Rob Hanna from that safety spot. Yeah, I think you're right. Hartman now pressure from Terrell Richards, but he's able to get rid of it and hit his receiver over the middle. His receivers, Mark, they lost their top three receivers in one of the best receiving cores in the ACC last year. Sage Surratt 
Hartman again, pressure. Couldn't connect with Morris. Hartman to throw downfield, and they're playing with a lot of young guys, especially with Rob Hanna out. Von Moore, a high punt. Keith Johnson waiting for it, makes the fair catch at his own 19. Continue to see a lot of passes from Rex Culpepper in this game. Syracuse brings just three, or Wake brings three, and Taj Harris, a little miscommunication, but maybe that's why. Flags all over the field. Lutz. Big gain outside the 40. He'll pick up a first down. Minor, he was a DB, he was a receiver. You had three running backs unavailable that... Taylor got away with that last week, but you can't go under blocks when you have the edge. Lutz picks up the first down now in the Wake Forest territory. Uh, but, you know, they're 90th in the country in yards per rush out of 101 teams. Just, you haven't had the success, but good to see on this drive up until that play. Basham blew this up, too. Look at number nine on the outside. Just right yeah. there waiting for him. That's how you set an edge of a defense, you. Keep Johnson now in the backfield with Culpepper. Swings out. Culpepper flushed. A lot of pressure coming from Wake, and they get him. Linebackers who came on this play, everybody... They brought the house and just good job tracking down Rex Culpepper. Rex Culpepper saw that open lane and just decided, look, if they're going to keep doing that, we're going to bring pressure, and it paid off on that last sack. First sack of the year for Jaquez Williams, forcing Syracuse to punt. Fair catch made for by Taylor Morin. Maybe it wasn't a fair catch. Another opportunity here on third and one. Walker met nice the backfield. Play. He's not going to get there. Nice play by Garrett Williams, the cornerback number 14. We'll try it again. You can see Syracuse right now looking to bring pressure. They back out of it. Play for the return. Nice high kick from Mora. Johnson looking to make a man miss and does. Inside of Wake Forest territory. Good return all the way down to about the 36-yard line. He's starting. Great job, Kelsey. He's starting right now. And he's in the game for Clemson, but they've got to make something happen because they are down 21 to 7 right now with the big showdown against Notre Dame at the uh, game coming up at the half. And more on this one as well as, uh, you know, Syracuse is starting to get something going here offensively. Yeah, they are. A lot of people are, are watching this game saying, who is this guy, Cooper Lutz? And I think we talked about him a lot earlier. Allen, I mean, he's built like a running back. I think that he found his niche and his spot in this offense. Unfortunately, right there, he found the teeth of this Wake Forest defense. Defenses have been very stingy in the yards they've been able to give up. Second down and long. Wake bringing pressure on the edge. Means they got a rope receiver, and it's going to be a score. Nakeem Johnson was wide open. Mark, what is it you always tell me? Exactly right. Find and identify where the pressure is coming from and replace the pressure with the football. Fantastic job by Rex Culpepper. Hard to throw the ball over their head, even though Syracuse does play man-to-man -man most of the time. Pressure coming. And they get it to Hartman, but Hartman, to his credit, stood in there and got it to Green for the first down. Third and five is still manageable. It's not just the same third and two they're used to. Yeah, the whole playbook is open. Here comes Syracuse with pressure. Hartman being forced out of the pocket now, scrambling for his life. Has a receiver and cannot connect with Roberson. And Syracuse gets the second half kickoff as well. So a lot going in the orange favor here. Mora with a nice big kick. Sending Johnson all the way back to his 20. That's where Syracuse will take over. And the Deeks bring it. They bring five. Culpepper steps up. Nice defensive play by Anderson. He thought he might have been able to get pick number four on the season. Look, this guy studies film more than anyone I have ever seen. And that play right there showed that he understood the film and he, he broke on the play he recognized. Lauren corrals the puck. 11, 185 pounds. Talking to his coaches this week, he doesn't seem like the ideal size for a safety. The coaches said, we needed a safety. And he was the only guy we had, so we put him in there. So far today, too, Sam Hartman's been pretty good in terms of completing passes. He's got a receiver open. And nice catch just behind Moore. But he is looking right over your shoulder to try to complete a pass behind you. Give to Walker. Cuts it back inside beautifully. That's another first down for the Deeks. Quickly, Wake Forest is known for its tempo, but they have really turned it up a notch on this drive. Good blocking downfield. Give again to Walker. Bounces it. Now cuts it back inside again. Still on his feet. Inside the 10. He'll score! That, that was kind of ridiculous, Chris. I mean, 
I thought for sure he was going to be down a number of gold helmets that go along for the ride with him. Look, he is never in a situation where he is without blockers at some point on this run all the way right up until the end zone. You see big number 53, Nash, leading the way. And this is the, this is the point where you know, Syracuse tries to make the tackle to get up there, but the activity of this offensive line, I mean, that's what gives these running backs success. He drives them to be great. It, it works, and he definitely has that purpose in playing for his sister. Culpepper dropped and loses the football, and Wake Forest is going to recover the fumble. That's a huge play by Ryan Smenda to go in this first half. Yeah, watch the pressure come. Ryan Smenda, you're going to see him late on the outside. He makes this hit, and just a really good job of putting his helmet on the football. Fantastic. And driving through the quarterback, the recovery is clean on the bottom. If they're not able to convert this or gain a few yards. Pressure on the edge. Harmon's going to get dropped. That'll huge knock him out of play by Williams range. off the corner. Huge, huge play by Syracuse defensively. This entire series, you got the sack, you got the holding. Wake Forest takes penalty first back and all the, the way up. And this could be a situation where maybe you do test seconds. that. They've got a good relationship and uh, Syracuse good brings pressure. Run. Hartman just chucks it up. And that'll fall harmlessly incomplete, and that'll wrap it up for us here in this first half. And they found a way to get something going running themselves. Lutz has 50 yards and uh, 52 yards rather in that first half and 22 receiving. He's gonna lose a few here. As Wake Forest does a really nice job of stringing this out to the boundary. Good job bringing the tackle and creating third and short. Call Pepper bat batted down by Anderson. Another big play by this former walk-on freshman safety. And so far, Sterling Gilbert, the offensive coordinator, has not changed up his tendencies too much, and Nick Anderson's picked on him. For this Wake Forest offense. Hartman stepping up, now pressure coming, flushes him out of the pocket. He gets rid of the football, has a receiver wide open. 40, 30, making a cut to the end zone. Roberson is going to score. Wow. He, he was wide, wide open. Uh, quarterback almost sacked. Right here, great job by Sam Hartman stepping up in the pocket. And it just, it had to have been a blown coverage of some sort. But, you know, picking it up off the ground, scooping it up, catching the ball. And then the rest was history. Good job by Sam Hartman escaping the pressure. To play the piano, they were actually, like, waiting to do their COVID test at a hotel. Cotter as he throws a, a interception. interception. This might go for six, Kels, and it will. Just as we talk up Culpepper, true freshman Kalen Carson, well, the other true freshman, Gavin Holmes, rather, picks it off and takes it to distance. Looks like he might have hurt himself somehow on this return. But he just sat on a route, and it looked like a miscommunication between Rex Culpepper. Went long, and Rex threw short. You know, part of this offensive progression is you have to read defenses, and really, as the receiver went long, he was in the flat and looks like he pulled a hamstring on his way out. So in the blink of an eye, Syracuse down 24. Culpepper now going to the running game with success. Nakeem Johnson putting the wide out with all that speed in the backfield, Mark. Just trying to get something going, a big play, an explosive play, something electric. Have to do something because Cooper Lutz cannot take every single snap of this game. So Get something for the confidence, don't they here? Yeah, they, they really do. And... You know, they're going fast and really up tempo. Lutz picks up the first down and gets into Wake Forest territory. Syracuse going the wrong way due to penalties. Wake brings just three, still putting pressure on Culpepper. Runs out of it. Tries to sling it sidearm to his receiver, Queeley. Couldn't make it happen. Wake Forest goes with the double check to the sideline. Aaron Rodgers would be happy. Hartman to throw, steps up, try to get underneath in this game. They bring pressure on third down. Hartman slings it over the middle. That's complete to Morin. Hartman after the fake over the middle to Morin. It just can't quite catch this one. Another flag, Chris. The drive continues first and 10 from the 35. Beal Smith trying to find an opening, cannot. And then knifing in to make the tackle is 
Lee Koba. Linebacker play I've seen all day from this Syracuse team. Lee Koba sees the ball carrier and fires down. He did better last week, and Koba showed there he, he can do it as well. Hartman, now the pressure swallows him up. Flag down right where Hartman went down, but Polka again. Deeks now in a little bit of a hole after their fourth penalty on the game. Second down and 18. Hartman has time. Has a receiver inside the 15, inside the 10. It'll be first and goal for the Deeks. After Donovan Green comes down with it, picks up good yardage after the catch. Good job by Donovan Green. See him on the outside, the top of the screen. It's good job stemming it upfield, and you see him drop his hips and his head down to the ground. He is really, really dynamic. Walker cuts it back inside. Will he get to the end zone? He will. His third rushing touchdown of the day. And Wake Forest now finishes off a long, time-consuming drive by hitting Pater. I think that's been shown very well today, but watch as he's able to follow his blockers. And that is a one-on-one -on -one tackle with Mikel Jones in the hole. Mikel Jones, 6'1", 230 pounds, trying to tackle Kenneth Walker, who's 5'10", 206. You get an opportunity, you pull the upset against Notre Dame, and you're in. Now bringing pressure. Culpepper lets it fly, trying to get his receiver Harris to make a play on the ball. Just an inaccurate throw. Moore and back to receive this punt. High kick from Cooney. Moore makes the fair catch at his own 25. I mean, if Clemson loses, I mean, all bets are off. You have two losses, you're right in it. Hartman, he chucks it. No one was anywhere in the area now. Was he outside the tackle box? Or will we see a flag come in here? Syracuse bringing pressure. Could be a free play. Hartman gets his receiver, Morin. Yeah, you got to bring pressure a lot. Run pressures, pass pressures. Just You got to get lost yards, but it's tough against guys like that. Look at the patience, too, with this run from Christian Beal Smith. Well, it's interesting. You know, we talk about Syracuse running a 3-3-5 defense. And so, you know, the idea is you play a lot of spread offenses in the ACC. And him saying how tough it is coming off a game like that because when you play Clemson, you're playing to win. You're going all in. Now he's just going to go for it on a quick snap, and he'll pick up the first down. At the college level when I was growing up, so a lot of appreciation for the sport. Christian Beal Smith just met and buried in the backfield. Stephon Thompson, true freshman. I'd be surprised if he snaps that thing. Yeah, I'd be surprised if Harbin snaps that thing outside of 10 seconds for the rest of the game. Incomplete to more, but no, that'll stop the clock. Look like some movement, but no flags right now. And a receiver open in the end zone. That's Morin. It just held up enough for Williams to come back and make the play and prevent Morin from bringing down what would have been a huge play. No running back set. You got four wide receivers and a tight end on the field. This is their rush defense. And that's intercepted. Picked off by Trey Rucker. Let's see how the release comes out. He checks his first read, second read. Had to throw it over the hands of Suleiman Kamara. And Culpepper knows it. Got a little well, more energy for Danielle this. Danielle in Boston. You, you guys will be out to the wee hours of the night as Kern fakes the handoff and he'll take the sack. Kamara takes snap. the high snap and just gets it off. Heavy rush from the Qs. Johnson will make a fair catch inside his 20. Now we told you how seriously the Hurtslicks take Halloween. Just tall figure in that shotgun. There's his arm out to the outside. Cordy Jackson. Give the Lutz. He's got a lot of room. Midfield and Moore evades a tackler down to the 40. Big run by Lutz as he closes in on 100 yards for the day. Really a bright spot. So you definitely got to look at number 24. Cooper Lutz has definitely been a bright spot for the Syracuse offense. He's forced a lot of missed tackles. Go with our starters, and we're going to have success and win with that. But this is certainly part of the future of this Syracuse Orange football team here. Morgan out of the pocket, shows his mobility, hits his receiver inside the 10, and that's Johnson all the way down inside the 5. Rolling out to your left, 
is avoiding the pressure, understands that his pocket's collapsing and throwing it down. Give to Lutz. Read perfectly by this Wake Forest defense. The play of this drive that started on the orange 20 yard line. Morgan throws it into the end zone. It's his tight end for the score, Luke Benson. Morgan's first touchdown pass of his career, and Benson's first touchdown catch of the season. Yeah, good job just using his height. See the 6'3, 6'4 frame. Well, fourth in a row would go a long way. Now the schedule doesn't get any easier at North Carolina. They still have Miami left on the schedule. They're at Louisville. And then they finish up with a home game against Notre Dame. Griffiths takes a pop. Lawson will make his way to midfield. He and Dino Babers will chat momentarily. And then Wake Forest, as I mentioned, with their fourth win in a row. And we'll head back to Winston-Salem right now with a lot of momentum.